guys, it's Amelia. So I'm in a new setting and if you hear loud noises and stuff, it's because um, I am filming this outside and it's a beautiful day. So kids are screaming and dogs are barking and people are hollering and whatnot. So I thought I would do my haul video outside because A, it's a different time of day and the lighting in my other room is not very good and B, I didn't want to set up all the big fancy lights. I wanted to do the natural daylight. So let's just jump right down into it. I went to the mall the other day for a few things um, and I ended up at MAC and I got some NYX stuff. So I'm just going to, I kind of put it all in this bag. This is not the bag that it came in, but it's the bag that I'm going to start with. So the first thing that I got is the MAC brush cleaner and I just got the big size. This is a really good spot cleaner. It looks like this. And so I just usually put it into a spray bottle and I just spot clean my brushes every time that I use them. I actually recently broke out a lot and I think that I did because I wasn't cleaning my tools as often as I should have been. So that is why I'm now very diligent about it. The second thing that I got is the MAC face and body and I don't know why, oh, there's makeup on it because I stuck it in the foundation drawer and that drawer is really messy. So it looks like this and I've never used this before. This is in the color C2 and I just, I haven't had a chance to try it. Um, I've always been a little bit worried about MAC foundations because the one I did try is the Studio Fix or the Studio Tech and it broke me out like nobody's business. Like immediately, like oh, I put it on my skin and it got like really bumpy. And I stopped using it, I threw it in the garbage and I've never used it on myself or any clients since. Um, do you guys use any? I don't, so I have no experience with it. And if you do use it and you have any suggestions for face and body, please let me know. I do know that it is a lighter base and it's best applied when using your fingers. And I only know that because the girl, Jennifer at the Mac store, told me. So <laughs> that's that. And then to go with that, I also got the Mac Strobe Liquid Lotion and this is for not just the body but for the face. And they have another strobe lotion, but it's not made for the face. Like she said, you're not to put that on the, your face. So if it doesn't look like this, it's not supposed to go on your face. And this is um, in the color Golden Elixir, and it comes in this little pump. Anyway, so like I was saying, you swatch it, and it looks like this really pretty shimmery golden bronzy color. But she recommended, Jennifer at the Mac store said, to put it in the foundation and mix it up and then apply it to the face. So we're going to have to give that a try in a tutorial soon. The last MAC thing that I got for myself was this lipstick and it is the Amplified Lipstick and this is Impassioned and it looks like this and when I swatch it, it's this beautiful bright pigmented coral pink color and I got this because I was purchasing one for a friend who had asked for it and when I swatched it I was like yep I gotta have one of those so I'm excited to try this I think it'll look really beautiful with the Rimmel um, exaggerate lip liner in pure so really really excited for that it's gonna just be a really really great summer color and then the next the rest of the stuff that I got is all NYX and um, I was at this store and it was this little store that I was buying clothes and they had a big NYX counter and I don't know why because it was a clothing store but I just decided whatever I'm gonna try to get some stuff because the only other stuff that I have is from online or um, like an Ulta but I don't have an Ulta near me so I am wearing today another butter gloss and this is in the color peach cobbler and it's just this really pretty peach color It's super pigmented. It goes on really, really smooth and it smells really good and I just really, really like it. I just think this is a really, really fun spring summer color. Spring's pretty much over, summer's almost here. So again, that was a butter gloss. And then the other butter gloss that I got was this one in Strawberry Parfait. It's pink like this. And when you swatch it, it's like, it's a more of a sheer lighter pink base more of a blue base tone too but I just thought it was a really nice color it'll go with a lot of things so I'm a sucker for the butter glosses I just love them and they go over a lot of things now a boom bam tastic color is this 
NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, which I wore the other night when we went, went out with our friends. And this is in the color Addis Abada. And it looks like that. And it's very reminiscent to Girl About Town from MAC. And I love these matte lip creams. And why do I love them? I love them because when things are matte, they mattify to your lips and then they don't move. Unlike a butter gloss or um, any sort of gloss over something, these are, they just don't go anywhere. You can eat, you can drink, you don't need a straw, you can eat pizza, you can eat a banana, whatever, whatever you want to be eating, and you'll know that your lipstick isn't going to go anywhere. So I really think that um, matte is the way to go when you're looking for something very long lasting. Now of course your lips tend to get a little drier with it, but it's key to moisturize your lips prior to applying. So anyway, this is in Addis Abada. Love that. And then the last matte lip cream is this mauve, a deep mauve color, and this is in the color San Paolo, and I think this will just be a, another really good um, either nighttime or maybe even daytime color, and it's this right here. It's just a really deep mauve, and again, it's mattifying, so these retail for $4.99, and the butter glasses also retail for $4.99 from NYX, so definitely pick those up. Um, MAC lipsticks, I forgot to say, they're $15, and then um, I'm not sure, I think the foundations are $21, maybe $27. The strobe cream was $27, and then the brush cleaner is like 18 or something like that. Um, those are like regular prices that you guys would get. I get a pro discount, so I get 40% off of that, but anyway, that's beside the point. I just wanted to let you know what the prices would be for you. So along the lips for NYX, are these um, matte lipsticks and they retail for $5.99 and the first one I got is in Summer Breeze and it is this really pretty bubblegum pink color and again I'm gonna swatch it beneath it's a deeper pink so you could pair it with even that butter gloss right there it's really really gorgeous and again just remember put a matte lipstick on let it dry then put whatever else you're going to put on top of it but of course put your lip liner on first if you're going to use lip liner so that is not and this one is in pale pink and this is very like a nude based pink this is a gorgeous nude based pink and especially if you're someone who thinks that nudes have a tendency to wash you out or make you look like dead lips this is a really gorgeous nude based pink. So, I heard great things about this. My friend told me to pick them up. She actually told me that Lauren Beauty that I love and I had linked her channel below in a prior video. She raves about them and she lives in Australia. She doesn't live in New Zealand, which I thought she did. But she lives in Australia and she loves them. So, yay for those. And then the next three things are eyeshadows. And the first one I got is this NYX eyeshadow in Frosted Lilac. And it's this really gorgeous light purple. And it looks like that. And swatched. And that's what it looks like swatched. It's really light and sheer. So I got this because I'm going to be doing a collab video on a look and these are the sorts of colors that I think that we're going to be working, that I'm specifically going to be working with. And this another one is called Autumn Sky, which I don't get what these names are. These are $4.99, and this one is definitely more of a sheer turquoise. And it looks like that. And it is that right there. So I'm going to be working with those two colors. I have some other things going. So I'll be on the lookout for that kind of fun collab that we have going on. So I picked those two up. And I also picked up this nude matte shadow. And this is in the color Blame It on Midnight. And this is $4.99. And I haven't even opened it yet. And it is just a really pretty brown color. Um, similar to Soft Brown from MAC. It's this really pretty ambery brown color so I definitely think that that is super gorgeous and then speaking of MAC I have two eyeshadows that I'm going to show you in just a second okay so I also picked up in my haul these two eyeshadows right here I'm going to show you the first one is the dupe 
the similar dupe, and this is in the color Soft Brown from MAC, and it looks just like this Blame It on the Midnight color. Well, okay, it's similar to from NYX. And this one, I'll swatch it. Looks like that. And it's just a deeper, like, they're sort of dupes. Like, this is a definitely deeper color, more pigmented, and this is more like a lighter base color, but they, they would look really, really pretty together. So that was soft brown, and then the second one is saddle. And it looks like that. And when you swatch it, it's definitely lighter than the, um, lighter than the soft brown color. So those are the two right there. And that was the rest of my haul. And I apologize that we're in a different setting and if you don't like it, I'm sorry. And comment below if you don't like it, comment below if you do like it. It's a different time of day, I'm a little bit more tired. What can I say, my eyeballs a little red. So that is my haul, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys just took, didn't, focus on this and focus on the haul portion because that's what it's supposed to be. And Max is whining and wants to say hello. You come through right now. This is my dog Max and he's my little munchkin. Oh. Hi Max. Want to sing a song? Oh, you're so it's a good boy. Ready? Ready? Max. Ready? No. Oh, no. Oh, you're such a good boy. No. Oh, no. you're such a good boy. I'm yeah. oh, just, just playing with them. Fine, take him away from me. Max. Oh, little Max. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't want to be here anyway. I just wanted to make him be here.